Hello, welcome to uh, this Aquinas School of Leadership Center for Leadership Coaching, part one course on the organizational genius of St. Thomas Aquinas. I call this a part one course because uh, the Aquinas School of Leadership uh, program on St. Thomas's organizational genius consists of two courses. Um, uh, which uh, chiefly focus on his metaphysical teachings, his, uh, his, his uh, psychology of the human person, uh, or what I call uh, his power psychology, and students of St. Thomas often call his faculty psychology, uh, and his moral psychology, which uh, students of St. Thomas often call his, his ethics, or uh, his, his moral philosophy, okay? But... Um, my understanding of St. Thomas after reading him for decades is that he chiefly considered philosophy, as did Aristotle uh, and Plato uh, and Socrates, to be uh, principles of psychology, of human psychology. They're actually psychological activities. This is true even of his metaphysics. And I say that chiefly because he considered all science to be chiefly a habit of the soul. Huh? Uh, a habit of the soul that studied organizations. And uh, this, I maintain, was the main interest of the ancient Greek philosophers, going from Thales up, up through Plotinus uh, and Neoplatonists after Plotinus. Uh, and it's, this is something that St. Thomas realized, that uh, people who are engaged in the study of philosophy are chiefly engaged in the activity of psychology, of organizational psychology. Uh, and um, uh, this two-course program is designed uh, to some extent to show that. Uh, uh, and uh, in this first course, this fir first part course, uh, on uh, the, um, which focuses on the metaphysics of St. Thomas, I also deal with issues related to his faculty psychology, his power psychology, and his moral psychology. But the focus of attention is on his metaphysics because it's chiefly within his metaphysics, uh, which, well, once again, I consider to be a, a, psycho a, psych a psychological activity, chiefly, huh? uh, because it's an analysis of the principles involved in uh, organizations. Um, uh, both organizations existing independently of the human soul and, uh, and psychological organizations, uh, uh, activities, uh, which human beings engage in uh, to, be, uh, to be able to apprehend these different organizations and their principles and causes. Uh, I've chosen uh, for this course uh, to, uh, to focus attention on uh, studying St. Thomas's teaching through uh, a, uh, a samurai swordsman called Miyamoto Musashi who wrote this book called The Book of the Five Rings several centuries ago. Uh, and uh, he's fairly well known in, in, in business uh, circles. Uh, I'm going to use two texts of his. One, one which is a, a, The Book of the Five Rings for, uh, for executives. Uh, and it's, it's an, un, an updated version which doesn't stick strictly to Musashi's translation, and this is a copy of it by Donald Krauss, The Book of the Five Rings for Executives by Donald G. Krauss. Huh? And the other one is a more strict translation huh, by Stephen Kaufman, huh, The Book of the Five Rings. Uh, hopefully you can get one or the other of these texts, and uh, they're very short. Uh, uh, I'm sending this message out to you, and I really I haven't introduced myself to you because you know, you know me. Uh, if I'm sending this out to you, I don't have to do that. Uh, the uh, uh, but I want to give you uh, an understanding before we start this this class in a couple of weeks of how it's going to proceed. That it's uh, that um, it, uh, it your preparation for it depends upon you. Uh, uh, I would suggest you get these two texts, um, and uh, the way I'm going to proceed with, with them is to, uh, over 15 weeks, uh, take a few pages uh, uh, of them, because they, uh, one version runs a little over 100 pages, another maybe, maybe uh, uh, 25 pages more than that, um, uh, to uh, uh, Krauss's version is a little bit longer. 
and so it's not a hefty reading if you want to do it uh, uh, to in preparation for the for the classes. The classes are going to be held over Zoom conferencing, and I'll send you links uh, to the to the conferencing so that uh, it'll be easy for you to uh, to phone in or to uh, uh, to enter through your computer unless you're like my friend Bob Fleming over in Thailand. Uh, uh, the um, uh, hopefully uh, the, uh, the, co the connections will be good. My experience with Zoom is that it's been very good. Uh, and um, uh, one of the chief reasons that I'm uh, conducting this course and this this program uh, is to help uh, reinterpret uh, the teachings of Saint Thomas, so as to be of assistance uh, to overcoming a leadership deficit within Western culture, which is extremely dangerous in our time. Uh, throughout uh, organizations uh, uh, in uh, uh, in the United States as well as in Europe uh, and globally, uh, uh, there's a massive um, uh, inability on the part of people who call themselves leaders to understand the principles of leadership. Uh, for uh, for those of you who are actually occupy positions of leadership, I'm not going to tell you anything new, anything that you don't understand already. Uh, what I will do is put this in a, a language that you don't understand at the beginning. Uh, Ambrose Bierce, the, the satirist, once said, from what I recall, that, for, that uh, philosophers are people to, who tell you things you already know in a language you don't understand. Uh, but um, as St. Thomas understood philosophy and Aristotle understood it, it chiefly deals with starting with a generic understanding of something, huh? a generic fam familiarity. Uh, that we try to make more specific. Uh, we have some familiarity with what we're doing, uh, and increasingly we become better. We, we become better at it uh, by uh, continually going back to our principles, our starting points. Huh? Uh, what an, uh, uh, initial inductions that uh, enabled us to uh, to get to a certain level of perfection, some level of perfection in what in what we're doing. So the course chiefly aims at. Uh, overcoming this leadership deficit, starting with uh, this work on Musashi uh, uh, to show how uh, Musashi is actually applying uh, principles, metaphysical um, uh, uh, principles, as, as well as moral principles uh, of St. Thomas Aquinas. I know this is going to sound very strange to people who, who, uh, uh, who might have studied St. Thomas. Um, uh, it's a uh, it's, it struck me as being a little strange uh, when, I, uh, when I thought about doing it, but uh, if both of these people are, have uh, hit on principles that are true, <coughs> then, uh, and, and, uh, and truth is transcultural and, and, and global, then uh, uh, even transglobal, uh, then uh, we, uh, uh, we shouldn't be surprised to, to find these two people saying the same thing. I have prepared videos for this course uh, and uh, some of you already have those videos. Some of the students in class will already have taken uh, uh, courses from me and be familiar with what I'm, uh, what I'm discussing. For those of you who haven't taken the class, um, if you'll just e me, email me at redpathp at gmail.com, I will be happy to send you uh, copies of those videos. Uh, what I suggest you do, uh, if you have the time, uh, is is each week uh, take a take a look at those those videos. Um, I'm going to send 15 from, well, actually 30 videos from my course on I call the one and the many uh, that deals with St. Thomas's teaching about unity and multiplicity in organizations, and I'll send um, seven or eight. I think it's eight. Uh, from uh, the Moral Psychology of St. Thomas Aquinas, which deals with his commentary on Aristotle's Nicomachean Ethics. Uh, and um, the, uh, the course on the one and the many, those videos run about an hour. So you don't have any reading that you'd have to do from St. Thomas, but listening to my, uh, uh, as um, <coughs> Jude Doherty is, uh, <coughs> has called it, unconventional. Uh, understanding of uh, of St. Thomas. 
um, might, uh, uh, you might find interesting and, and helpful. So uh, the, the class I've, I've set to run um, for one hour at, at least, it can go over one hour if people are interested in, uh, in staying more than that. And uh, so I'm sending this video to you as a, a welcoming to this class uh, and sending it to you at the beginning of January. So if you want to get these videos from me, I'll be happy to send you to, to send them to you. Uh, and I'm looking forward to talking to you online about this and working with you to overcome this uh, contemporary leadership deficit so that we together might uh, help increasingly to promote global peace. And Happy New Year, and looking forward to talking to you online pretty soon. Take care. I'm shutting off here.